Good morning. My name is Lucia Ferrara, and I'm Hospitality Director here at the uh, Precious Blood Renewal Center. And um, today on the menu, we are going to learn how to make something very simple and fun that you could bring to um, as an appetizer to a party or a football game or just have it for a meal too sometimes. Um, we're going to make bruschetta. So um, bruschetta is super easy, super delicious, and it only takes a few ingredients. So we today are going to dice up some tomatoes. So Roma tomatoes are the best for this because um, it, they don't have a whole lot of uh, juice coming out of them. So the Roma tomatoes are good diced up. We're going to use a couple cloves of garlic. So we're going to take a couple cloves out of that. We're going to cut up some fresh basil. So in the basil, you can use fresh from your garden because this is what I have here. Um, some great smelling, I love the smell of fresh basil. It just smells the whole kitchen up. So we've got that. Then we're going to use fresh mozzarella pearls on some of our bruschetta pieces. So for the topping for the cheese. And we're going to use olive oil and then, of course, some sun-dried uh, tomatoes. And um, we will chop those up and put them in a bowl. And then we will mix all the ingredients together. You can add a little salt, a little pepper, and maybe a little, uh, maybe about a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar. And the balsamic vinegar just kind of gives it that real good kind of tangy taste not a whole lot in it and um, then after that we will put it on our fresh bread and the bread we can use any kind of uh, fresh loaf bread so we'll be right back and we'll put it together guys so we've got I bought two jars of sun-dried tomatoes and they are full of oil so what I did um, I went ahead and opened them and I drained out pretty much a lot of the oil in it but it still has oil in there which is fine because you're gonna want some oil in your bruschetta so um, we are going to if they're not already chopped up and um, what you want is for them to be finely chopped. The sun-dried tomatoes, when they come out of the jar, you can already buy them julienned or you can buy them um, where they're dried up kind of half, half the tomatoes. So um, because I did not buy them already julienne, we're just going to kind of chop them up now um, just kind of where they are kind of cut um, in, into smaller pieces so that's what we want and boy does that really smell good and they are delicious so prior to um, chopping everything up we need to heat your oven at about 400 to 425 because this is what we are going to put on top of our bread as it toasts and they will be good and warm. You want to serve them warm but bruschetta is good either way. So we're going to now put this in our bowl with the freshly cut Roma tomatoes, the basil, and the garlic. Okay. And I left some extra oil in this one. We're just going to pour it in there. Okay. And then we're going to take the other sun-dried tomatoes out. 
and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to do that. All right, guys, so we're done chopping all the ingredients up. So now we're going to mix this beautiful bruschetta together. As you can see, the beautiful coloring, the garlic, the oil, the sun-dried tomatoes, the fresh basil, the fresh Roma tomatoes from your garden. Mmm. The smell is absolutely wonderful. This alone can be a meal in itself. I mean, you get a fresh loaf of Italian bread or French baguette bread, and you know, you can just have at it. I just put a little salt and pepper in here for some taste. Add another good mix. And then we're going to add a little swish of balsamic vinegar, a little bit of olive oil, and give it another toss. Mmm. You know, sometimes I'll make this and just serve it over pasta. So, I mean, bruschetta is, mmm, it's just really, really tasty. And it's so good when it's warm. Actually, just another little tip, you can also make this bruschetta and put it on top of a pie crust. So you can have a really great pie as well, um, pizza pie. So, all right guys, so we are going to slice the bread. Today I just bought some, um, some French baguette and normally you can use this for an appetizer and um, what I do is I just kind of slice it here like this okay if you want it more like a meal type, you might want to use the uh, full Italian loaf of bread and um, do it that way. Today I chose the baguette. So then you're going to pour, just kind of drizzle some olive oil on your sheet here that you're going to put in the oven. Then what we're going to do is just put the bruschetta on the, the bread, put it on the bread like this, mm. doesn't that just look beautiful? And let me tell you, if you were here with me, you'd even smell it. So, it is absolutely wonderful. Just look how pretty that even looks. If you're doing um, a party or um, a, at a football game that you're hosting at your house, people love to snack on these, kind of like a little hors d'oeuvre. Oops, that one kind of fell apart. We're not going to waste anything. Okay, guys, what I'm doing right now is I am just putting the fresh mozzarella balls on top of the bruschetta. Not necessary. If someone can't have cheese, then you can, you know, skip this part. But it's always nice addition. So we are going to put this on. I love mozzarella cheese. I'm kind of a cheese gal. So, and I'll leave a few without the cheese. This way, if, if any of my friends that are coming over to have some tonight decide they don't want the cheese, well, they won't have the cheese on them. Okay, we're gonna stick it in the oven for 20 minutes. It's been 
about 20 minutes now, and the bread and the bruschetta and the cheese looks like it is toasty. And we're just going to bring this over here. And don't forget to turn off your ovens. All right, can you hear the sizzling? It smells really, really good. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to plate it. And I added the cheese to the different um, breads. So we're going to just make it look really pretty on here. Mmm, that really looks good. Alrighty. And what I did with some of these, I cut the French bread link in little, um, kind of a different way. So I'm going to take some of the, the bruschetta and put it back on here. And the ones with the cheese, I'm going to put it here. And you are ready to serve. So we're going to um, serve this to our guest at the table. And along with that, you can serve it with uh, white wine, red wine. Um, I think today I'm going to go with the red wine. So we're going to open this bottle of wine. And we're going to break bread and wine together today. And also to make, to make this look pretty, we can drizzle some more olive oil on here. Olive oil is so good. We'll just throw some on there, okay? But before we indulge in our bruschetta and our wine today together, I do have some scripture for you. So the first scripture comes from, um, let's see, it comes from Matthew. So um, it says here in, in the Bible, uh, Matthew chapter, five, uh, excuse me, chapter 25, verse 35. And it says, for I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. So, <laughs> let's show up today at our own dining room tables, and so we can have an opportunity to echo these words um, into our homes. And for me, that's really important. Um, and as I was looking through um, the Bible and reading it, I found another um, verse. It is in Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 55, verse 1. And it says, All you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come. Receive grain and eat. Come without pain and without cost. Drink wine and milk. So may our love for him be present in, our, in this hurting and broken world that we live in today. And come to the table and let's share each other's words, kindness, peace, and more importantly, our love for one another. So... Until next time, ciao and bon appetit.